Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, back in the truck? Hey guys, what's going on here? Skip here. And uh, we got something going on at our field. I'm not sure what's going to be happening here, but they got enough big tents. It goes all the way down. <laughs> all the way down pretty much half the length of the field. But uh, it's getting a little, a little windy out here. But uh, we got to do some range testing on our radio. So we're going to use this opportunity while there's no one here to pull out the... Uh, the old hobby zone Corsair F4U and uh, just for you. <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, are you going to stay in the truck all day again or what? I'm going to stop bringing you if you don't come out and enjoy the, the day. You like it better in there? Huh? Do you like it better in there? You're a beautiful boy. You could be a good boy and stay in here for dad. Okay. He says, Yes, dad. I like it in here. I feel safe in here. Here goes nothing, guys. I don't feel like walking around the entire uh, range, and I don't have anybody here to help me out, so I got to do it the old fashioned way. Do it with a beater, right? This plane is not in the best shape, so it's on its last length anyway. But it should be good enough for range testing. It's doing everything I want it to do, but before I fly this thing with a bigger, bigger plane, more expensive plane, I want to make sure this thing will handle the range. It's getting out there now. I, I can hardly see it, so I'm not wearing my glasses. Duh. Should be. It's not flying too bad considering it's been cut in half a couple of times, mid-air collisions. Cut out of that sun there a little bit. That's about half throttle. It's turning on its own though. That wind kind of pushing it a little bit. Peace out there. I just put my glasses on. That was almost a mistake. They were all darkened up. Now I look like I'm looking through tinted glass. So I still can't see my plane. Better off without them today. And the wind's kind of coming at my face now a little bit, so. I'm not sure where I'm going to bring this down. Probably bring it right down here in the grass. And it covers this end of the field. Let's see if it goes, goes and covers all the way around it. Uh -huh. 
Sorry it's so far away guys, you probably can't see it. This is really more of a video for me. But you understand they had my radio for a few weeks and, uh, well, they had it a couple weeks. Um, I just want to make sure everything is right before I take up a more expensive jet or uh, the Draco or something like that that cost a bundle. I think I hear it beeping too. This may be a tricky landing. The wind just totally changed. Take it, we'll take it. Oh, and over she goes. Safety cut. Well, I'd say it was a successful flight. Didn't really have a good landing area, especially I was going in, I was going to bring it in right there, and all of a sudden the wind just totally did a, a, a 180, and uh, I had to kind of go with it. And then it shot in from the side, and I, I was going to try and bring it in facing this way here on the side on the hill <laughs> that didn't work so well look good from over there <laughs> don't they all all right no damage done and uh everything still works right yep motor good to go this has been, uh, been Skip. Thanks for, for sharing this with me, and uh, they did a good job on the radio. Thanks again out there, Jason, at Horizon Hobby. They did this for nothing, guys, and, uh, you know, even even updated the airware and all that kind of stuff. Uh, new voice files, everything. Hats off to them. Thank you. Bye for now. Guys, I don't know if you can read this, but... Uh, these are my battery voltages after that flight just now and I was using a uh, 3000 3S uh, 30C Vant battery from three, four, almost four years ago now and uh, I just have to say it pretty well. It uh, doesn't do as well in the timber but it, not a problem at all with this light little thing. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye for now.